The Indian Institute of Technology Madras has become the first research organization in the world to release the most detailed 3D high resolution images of the fetal brain, its director said on Tuesday. The pioneering work by the Sudha Gopalakrishnan Brain Center of IIT Madras pushes the frontiers of brain mapping technology and places India in the global league of brain mapping science as this is a first of its kind work anywhere in the world, he added. Uh, whatever said and done today, we have five fetal brains. We have dissected it at 0.5 micron and uh, human hair is uh, 50 microns, so one by a hundredth of a diameter of a human hair and we have studied the structures we have converted to digital form then we have made a 3d rendering of it i think this will be a phenomenally great data which the world will certainly take forward we also want this to be validated by the external world so we went to the journal of comparative neurology um, and uh, the editor-in-chief uh, Madam is here today, uh, so they are very, very happy. They are also bringing out a special issue on this. According to researchers, it is vital for the country to understand brain development from the fetus to a child, to adolescence and to a young adult and developmental disorders like learning disabilities and autism. Our goal was to develop detailed cell resolution maps of the whole human brain throughout the entire human life. That was the goal. And today's set of results that we are releasing is the maps of the second trimester, which is a very important development phase of the fetus. From 14 weeks to 24 weeks, we are, we are uh, uh, releasing um, the detailed cell resolution 3D maps of five fetal brains. Not only for identifying, it is even for an educational level. See, now they've got 5,000 sections. And we doctors should know what is happening to the brain at each gestational age and what is happening. So even medically for us to learn, especially pediatricians, pathologists, neurologists, uh, if we have a baseline a current research, uh, which is not very old, then that is going to help us. And also we have taken pictures of MRI for the same brain. So that will also help us in comparing what all we can capture, what are the limitations of MRI when compared to post-mortem examination. The findings of the research have been accepted for publication as a special issue by the Journal of Comparative Neurology, a century-old peer-reviewed systems neuroscience journal.